this afternoon, yeah. we were in a car. We were driving from the Indianapolis airport here to West yeah. Lafayette. I put Michigan in the top 25. You looked at me, you looked me right in the eye, and yeah. you laughed in my face when I did that this morning. I said Memphis. The, Wolver- the Wolverines, the Wolverines in Madison Square Garden, in Rick Patino, New York native's first game in that building as St. John's head coach. You know what they did? A casual 89 to 73 win. They were up by his 25 in the second half. My guy, Doug McDaniel, how about this? 26 points, yeah. six boards, seven assists. Lamari Burnett, career high 21 points in the first half. Goodman, I'm not even going to let you speak here. RC, <laughs> how about Michigan, man? Is this the second best team in the Big Ten? Because I think that it is. I couldn't argue with it right now. I, I'm so happy Come for on. Dougie. I won't call the second best team yet. I mean, but I tell you what they are. They have been the, most, the biggest surprise That's in fair. the Big Ten. I think, to I me, mean, being fair, they've been the biggest surprise. Uh, I mean, are you going to take them over Michigan State right now? No. No, 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 not long haul, but they're playing well. And they're just impressive. You know, I've been a Dougie mm-hmm. McDaniels fan from the beginning to see how well he's playing. If he can sustain this throughout the year, they're going to be a force. At what point are we going to have to, to uh, rebrand Dougie McBuckets? <laughs> no, no time soon. You, you know, his impact though, today, even if he didn't score as much, he's, I think he's the fastest player in college basketball. I do think that. And St. John's couldn't – they couldn't press him. He's a one-man press break. He gets it in his hand. He's the fastest guy. He changes everything. So when you when you have that type of freedom now and confidence in playing the way he's playing now, they're going to be a tough out. They got a lot of good players. Yeah. I mean, that's the one thing of Michigan. They got a lot of good players. And, you know, we forget Martelli's a pretty good coach too, yeah. right? I mean, we, we talk about the Rick. But, but yeah, you know, Martelli's won a lot of games at St. Joe's, and that's the benefit of having him while Juwan Howard recovers from, from the, the – our procedure that that he had, um, I, I think when I went to St. John's practice a couple of weeks ago, the one thing that really struck me, besides the fact that it's a completely different team with a completely different coach, they don't have a dude, they don't have a guy. They're not super athletic. They don't have a guy that can just break you down and go get them. Right? That's not Dingle. That's not even Dennis Jenkins. Ledlam is not that guy. Right? So like, who do they have? They got a bunch of good players but not really a great player. I'm not sure Michigan does either, but Doug McDaniel played like a great player tonight. He's, he's been like that all season so far. And I've, I've watched the previous two games because I'm a – question the competition prior to yes. right. Yeah, I was, he goes on as well as any. So after, after the first game, I texted RC. Yeah, and I was did. like, you need to go watch Doug McDaniel's first half and tell me if you think this is real. And he was like, yeah, I think it's real, but you don't really know. And I guess to the point – um, we don't really know if St. John's is, I'm doing air quotes here, real yet. But I think that that is about as definitive of a statement as you can make that Michigan, that Michigan is here to stay, right? I don't know. I probably – I would rank them second in the Big Ten now just because, like, they won and Michigan State lost home to James Madison. Um, but I'm against not how ready he to does his top 25. I'm not ready it, to is. it is. It is. It I'm is. not ready to do that yet. It, it, is. Is. it is. I need Michigan State to shoot better than 6.5% from three, and then we can have a conversation about whether or not that's <laughs> going to be All right, let's, let's stick in the Big Ten, though, because as good as Michigan was, right, and we got we didn't even mention Louis Kamwa. He's, he was terrific in the first two yeah, games. Yeah, Terrence Reed was good. Yeah, like, Terrence Reed was good. The hell, Terrence Reed, like, Terrence that, I think that I – think, I think they're legit, guys. I think they are. We'll talk about that more in, in, in uh, later dates when they have bigger games. 